The Sumerian game is an early text-based strategy video game of land and resource management. It was developed as part of a joint research project between the Board of Cooperative Educational Services of Westchester County, New York, and IBM in 1964 to 1966 for investigation of the use of computer-based simulations in schools. The goal was to brainstorm how computers could help students not just at the college level, but in primary schools too. At the workshop, IBM's Bruce Monkry spitballed an idea for a simulation of supply and demand that could teach students basic economic theory. Mabel Otis, an elementary school teacher with a degree in ancient history, pitched a project inspired by Monkry's idea, an economic simulation set in ancient Sumer. Working with IBM programmer William McKay, she created a scenario designed for a teletype hooked up to an O-site IBM 7090 timesharing mainframe. The ambitious program would take sixth grade students through a succession of increasingly difficult scenarios, playing as three generations of Mesopotamian rulers trying to keep their people fed. A second version had a stronger narrative component to the game's text. It interspersed the game with taped audio lectures, presented as the discussions of the ruler's court of advisors, corresponding with images on a slide projector. Although the Sumerian project was initiated by IBM's Bruce Moncrief, Mabel Otis is credited with writing and conducting it, with IBM's William McKay programming it, which means Mabel Otis is officially the first female video game designer. Between 1962 and 1965, classes of students in New York were involved in an innovative research project. The goal was to create a new teaching method without teachers using powerful computers, automatic systems such as slide projectors, and the playback of recorded audio lessons. Over the course of a lesson, a 300 baud modem connected a teletype under the student's control to a powerful mainframe costing tens of millions of dollars at the time. The teletype printed long texts on continuous paper rolls forcing the students to make difficult decisions on how to manage scarce resources, feed a population, and plant crops for the next season. The teletype printed long texts on continuous paper rolls, forcing the students to make difficult decisions on how to manage scarce resources and feed the population and plant crops for the next season. It was the Sumerian game, the ancestor of all strategy, management, and city simulation games. The Sumerian game, which was lost for 60 years, has been rebuilt and is now playable. Manage your grain, store it to withstand harsh seasons and natural disasters. Grow your population and expand your settlements. Find the best balance between people and food, or between arable land and cultivated fields. You have 10 years to expand your city and save it from extinction. If the population drops to zero, the lesson is over. Call your teacher.